you love me? Yes, I Slam love you. Oh, that's ridiculous. Bye. Ah! Oh, my gosh! Ah! Honey! Ah! Sweetheart. I said no. What could happen? Okay, fine. Ah! Oh, oh, my God! Oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh! Are you okay? God damn it! That's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> Clock Tower naked. Hi! Oh, well, hello. Are you guys here to donate to Asperger's? Oh, no, mm. actually, we're just passing through. I was a tri pie a long time ago. Yeah. Did you really burn down the Taco Bell? I heard that you killed the Dean. What? Okay, you know what, ladies? Uh, I think I know my wife pretty well, yeah. and she wouldn't have done any of that. Call me old. All right, boobs, fill the pitcher. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. All right, boys, this is you. I call both beds. You get one bed. If you guys need anything, Mom and I are right next door. Uh, is it okay if I take a soak in the hot tub, Dad? Yeah, yeah, sure. Just if anyone tries to shove you in their car, you scratch them like I showed you. Right, I will. Uh, all right. But you got a nice six pack. I don't. I'm gonna go. Um, are you sure that you'll be okay? Yeah. Okay. Sure you don't want to stick around? I. You... Okay. Dad, why would you do that? Well, what have we here? A little Romeo and Juliet situation. Hi, my name's Russell. Nice to meet you both. Just a stranger passing through, and, well, I couldn't help but notice how handsome this young man is. What would you do that for? Well, I saw you talking to her. I figured you could use a wingman. I didn't need a wingman. <laughs> Looks like you did. She left. Now, seeing you with that girl made me realize that we haven't had that chat yet. That's because we don't need to have that well, chat. Come on. I know it's embarrassing. But that was great. By the way, we think you're uh, I'm sure you'll be all right. Okay. Papa, woo, woo. killing it. Missile's killing it like a oh. missile. And action. Hi, y'all. Hey. What happened? Well, this is actually a crazy story. Um, Dad got scammed by a guy to park. <laughs> Same old Rusty. You can buy water from a faucet. <laughs> I don't know what that. Okay, no worries. Let's go. I have some clothes that I was going to give to the church. Oh, okay. oh thank you, Marjorie. Thanks. Marjorie. So come on inside. Thank you, Stone. Boy, do y'all stink. Hey. <laughs> Let's see it's... what happened. <laughs> well, I t it's a crazy story. Um, yeah. There's a burning car. And we pulled over. But Dad got scammed by a guy at a park. Go up. <laughs> yeah. Same old Rusty. You can buy water from a faucet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't, I'm actually not sure what, what that is. Well. <laughs> All right. All right. Without my sugar mama here, mm. working day and night to put me through meteorology school. I didn't mind. I actually liked having a job. Well, you never have to do it again, darling. 
that airport twister was gonna bypass Harris County. Not my stone. <laughs> well, I had a feeling. I had a feeling that that low pressure system was gonna make a beeline for Mission Bend. Thanks to my report, those people had an extra 15 minutes to evacuate. I was steer. That there is six thousand dollars worth of juicy purebred Angus beef. <laughs> <laughs> it's Stone's new passion, raising cattle. He's even named them. Uh huh. Well, Sebastian here loves him some ribs. <laughs> hey, if you boys want to get up early tomorrow, you can watch me herd these suckers into the corral. Wait a minute, you herd them yourself? Oh man, Anna. Yes. <laughs> hey, um. <laughs> If you need a hand in the morning, I'd love to help. God, you don't know how to ride a horse. <laughs> uh, old Sebastian here loves him some ribs. <laughs> yeah, come on. I, I, I think it's great. I think it's great. Well, family is the most important thing there is. Well, maybe we'll take baby Cooper on a trip this summer. See, Mark? Yeah, keep him with the tampons. Just basic safety. Hey Lisa here with a quick movie fact from The Shining. Now did you know the number of the spooky room in Stephen King's novel 217 was changed in the film to 237 at the request of the Timberline Lodge in Oregon which provided the exteriors for the Overlook Hotel and was worried nobody would want to stay in its actual room 217. I guess it would probably be true. Would you stay in room 217? Now keep up to date on all the latest trailers and download our Film Is Now app.